Julia Pierpont from Xinhua News of China. I would just love to ask what is, uh, if you could tell us a little bit more after this extraordinary triumph, what is coming next in this world? You mean the real, real world? No, of Westeros. <laughs> oh, oh, Westeros world. Yes. Um, we don't honestly know. We're, we're not, in, none of the people standing here are involved with it, I think. Um, we're so out of the loop. That would be a question for George uh, and HBO. I'd like to ask you a question to your right here. Congratulations, Steve Thank Futterman you. from CBS oh, News. Congratulations on this. This show obviously has won so many accolades. Uh, can you talk about what it means to have this run end on such a high note? People talk about ending on top. You have ended on top. What does it mean, the symbolism of this win tonight? I, I mean, you know, honestly, I think part of it is just we've been working together for so long, and, and it's, it's, I know it's a cliche of show business to say that it's become a family, but it, it truly feels that way. Um, as Dan said on stage before, a lot of the people standing up here grew up on the show, and the rest of us grew old on the show, and, and uh, we're, you know, it's, it's a genuine, loving community, and I think the hardest part for us is that it's over and that we're not going to be working with them again. Um, at least in the short term, uh, and, and but the fun of it is that we're here and, and you know we get to celebrate now. So I think it's it's just very uh, it's going to make for a, a much more fun night. And to follow up to that, how would you like this show to be go down in television history? If you could write the history, the thumbnail line about this program, what would you like the TV historians, the social historians, to say about this program? Uh, that's a big question. It's not really. It's not really up for us to decide what people feel about it. We, we hope that they watch it and, and like it in the future, and we hope it holds up, and there's no way, there's really no way to tell how things are gonna be perceived in 10 years or in 20 years or even in five years, because things change so fast and the, the landscape of television changes so quickly. It's changing right now as we're standing here. So uh, it's so gratifying to have reached this many people, and we hope that people who are a little bit too young to be watching it now. We'll grow up and uh, and learn to learn about it. You know, learn about it and watch it as well. Uh, congratulations, everyone. Jim Roop with Westwood One News. First of all, incredible. I mean, a major motion picture every week. That's just daunting task in and of itself. But I have to ask, how much of this developed along the way? For instance, was it always going to be? Aya's character to kill the Night King, or did someone just go, I know what we'll do at the end? How did that develop? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> what? What? Was it? Oh. Uh, what was it? Uh, <laughs> even I forgot the question. Uh, how much of the show developed along the way, and was it always going to be Aya's character to kill the Night King? Did that come up at, was that uh, always from the, from the beginning of the show, was that going to be the end? I, I mean, I, I, I think so, yeah. yeah was that I, just, like, I've, I, don't, I don't know, I'm wilting. I mean, well, oh, no, no, I know hold on, George that's already happened. Thing, no, but you guys, you had your creative license with you. Is that how it worked? Uh, yeah, I, it, it honestly just depends on the specifics. Like, it was always going to be Bran uh, as the king at the end. With some of the other choices, it came up along the way. But I think no one can beat Alfie's answer, so. <laughs> I think Thank all, all you very further much. questions should go to Alfie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi. For Peter, for Peter Dinklage, a question. Here, Jeannie Wolf, right here. There you are. Your speech was very emotional. Is it? What? A complete blur. What well, wasn't to us? Mic is on. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it goes. Hey. It wasn't a blur to us. Strangers in the night. <laughs> what right, is that? Keep going. Keep going. This is all a blur. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was your question? <laughs> what did blur. I say? I, blur. I have no idea. No. Well, you know, will this character ever really leave you? Will this character be part of everything you do from here? I've on? seen a doctor about getting him out of me, <laughs> and they can't do anything. Uh, and the doctor says it's a blur. The doctor said, you're, yeah, it's hopeless. Um, no, I, but I think that's, no, yeah. That, it was, like I said, about 10 years since I met Dave and Dan and Carolyn Strauss in LA and then to right here. Um, uh, no, you can't shake that very easily, but um, more importantly, you can't really want to, you don't want to shake it, nor do you want to shake 
um, any of these people. Maybe Conleth, but um, <laughs> uh, no, truly, it's, it, was a, it was a whole, it was 10 years of my life. Um, a lot of us had children. Um, a lot of us were children when we started, um, and now are beautiful grown-ups, um, like Conleth. Um, uh, so yes, it was, it, it's going to be very hard to shake, yes. Congratulations, Idiot. Thanks. To all of you. Hi, back here, uh, Kim Renfro with Insider. Mr. Benioff and uh, Weiss, I was wondering, you guys had to be so tight-lipped about secrets and spoilers for the show for so long. Was there one fan theory that amused you the most when you heard it and you, you, know, you couldn't comment on it, but were you guys behind doors? Uh, Commander Mark Kelly, commander of the space shuttle, uh, had a fan theory that amused us because it was about 90% right. And so he was the one person who we had to actually put on a straight face and nod in such a way that made him believe he was wrong because he, he nailed about 90% of it. So that was the one that, that really stands out in my mind. Do you remember what it was that he, he said? He got most of the ending. And we have time for one more question. Could you, over to the left again. I'm just curious how you guys respond to the, the over to the left in front, how you respond to the, uh, there was a lot of con controversy about the ending and I'm wondering how you reacted to that. Especially regarding, of course, the Dragon Queen. Oh, right. I'll take this one. What was it? <laughs> Controversy. I still haven't seen the show. It's great. It's really good. You're good. So I, that's how I dealt with that controversy. I haven't seen the final season. But I know what it took to shoot it. And it was, it was hard and everyone put all of their love and effort into it. And controversy, I think for us, we, we knew what we were doing was, was, was right, story-wise. Um, and we knew that it was right for the characters because we'd lived with them for 10 years. Um, and, and I think that kind of, so controversy for us didn't, didn't really affect us. But thank you for the question. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.